Good afternoon, y'all. Today we're going to be doing Kids Lit. So we're going to be talking about the story, Honor the Other Reindeer. And what we're going to be doing is a comparison chart between Olive and Rudolph. So we, I want you to listen to the story for details and clues you can use to write in the Venn diagram. So when we finish, again, y'all will do your own chart and write a few sentences about comparing Olive and Rudolph. So let's listen to the story. Written by J. Otto Siebold and Vivian Walsh and illustrated by Vivian Walsh. Every day, Olive took her daily dog walk. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. Today was a winter day. It was the holidays. There was music playing outdoors. People were singing along. All of the other reindeer. Olive was too shy to sing. She hummed. Back at her doghouse, Olive was wrapping presents and listening to the radio. She heard that same song again. All of the other reindeer. Like the song? All of the other reindeer. Olive sang along. Olive, the reindeer, said Olive. I thought I was a dog. Hmm, I must be a reindeer. It was the time of year when all reindeer reported to the North Pole to help Santa Claus. Olive put down her scissors carefully and marched out the door. She took one bus and then two buses. She got there just in time. Santa was checking his list for the second time. Elves were busy helping the reindeer and loading the sleigh with presents for all the good girls and boys. Everyone was getting ready to go. Olive took her place. Santa noticed that there was a little dog in the lineup. Santa knew a lot about dogs. For instance, they can't fly. But as it was time to go, he decided to give Olive a chance. Comet, the biggest reindeer, used a piece of extra ribbon to make sure Olive was tied in safe and tight. Now they were ready to go. Olive was surprised. It was so easy to fly. The other reindeer were very curious about the new helper. They looked at Olive so much, they weren't watching where they were going. Crash! They flew smack into the top of a too tall tree. Oh dear, said Santa. My sleigh is stuck in this tree. I'll have to cut it free. Olive clung to the side of the tree. She tried to fly up to help Santa, but she could not. She climbed up slowly and started chewing. Chewing sticks was something Olive could do well. Thank you, Olive, said Santa Claus as they got back on their way. They had not traveled far when Olive's nose began to twitch. Olive smelled trouble. It was the smell of gumdrop candies as they fell from the sleigh. Drop, drop, drop. Olive barked and Santa knew what to do. He steered the reindeer down and around so all the gumdrops fell. Hop, hop, hop. Back into the toy sack. We were very lucky not to lose a single gumdrop, thought Olive. Then she heard a strange sound. It was a musical note. She spun around on her string to see the night sky filled with falling flutes. Olive had to howl louder than the wind instruments. This was not music to Santa's ears. First gumdrops and now flutes, thought Santa. That tree must have torn a hole in my sled. Prepare for an emergency landing, Santa instructed. The sleigh landed in a snowy field full of flutes. Luckily, Olive was very good at fetching sticks. It is something dogs love to do. Before Santa had finished patching the hole in the sleigh, Olive had returned each and every flute back to the side. 
Ho, 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 said Santa. We're ready to go. They were running late, but after a while, all the good children received their presents, and Santa and his team were headed home. They were almost home when they got caught in the dreaded North Pole fog. The reindeer slowed down until it was only the breeze that moved them along. The fog was as thick as a pillow. It made everyone very sleepy. Then Santa remembered something about dogs. They are expert smellers. Oh, I hate to be late for breakfast this year, he said. Mrs. Claus has planned a parade of cookies. Mmm, you can almost smell them, can't you? Olive could smell the cookies. Olive, won't you guide my sleigh this morning, said Santa. Olive moved to the front of the reindeer. Thanks to Olive's nose and Mrs. Claus making, they made it all the way back to the North Pole. All of the elves sang out a cheer. Hooray, hooray! Santa and the reindeer and the little doggy are back. Back at the North Pole, it was a glorious morning. After eating lots of good food, it was time to open presents. The reindeer got jump ropes and the elves got toy trains. Santa reached into his toy sack. There was just one present left. It was for Olive. It was her very own set of reindeer antlers. They fit perfectly. Then everyone went outside to play reindeer games. The end. Thanks for listening. Okay, so let's talk about Olive and Rudolph. Y'all tell me some things about Olive. What's up with my island? She's a dog. She's a dog. What is it? What else? She can't fly. She, she, she loves to go on dog walks. She loves to go on dog walks. Um, she can't fly and dog walks. What else? I need one more thing. My she island. lives in a dog house. Oh, no, that's good. I got three things. So, what's the chimps on my Rudolph? What's Rudolph? Oh, she got a red nose. She got a red nose. Red nose. He moves in the old pole. And he's good at that swimming. Yeah, that's swimming. Okay, okay, now what's something about both of them? They both help Santa. They help Santa. And. They both got the sleigh. Dang. I already got guys sleigh. They both did. They both did? Oh, okay. So I'm going to take that off the hood off and put it on both. Right. Both are animals. Both are animals. I put Rudolph off his antlers. Both are, both are animals. Okay. Animals. Mm -hmm. So now I want y'all to take this. Y'all can add stuff. Or take away stuff and add your own, but take this and write three sentences. One, I want to be a fact, a sentence by Olive. The second, a sentence by Rudolph. Then the third one, comparing Rudolph to Olive. Can I just say Rudolph is better than Olive in every single you way? You can say, yeah, if that's what you want to say. Mm -mm. Erase it. Van. 
Damn. 